been serving all this. Um, serving all this good, good. <laughs> I know that you just cringed, Uncle Al, because I know how bad you hate that I gotta push that button and come around, but. What's going on, YouTube? Gotta do what we gotta do. It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co-host, Tanea. Hey, guys. And we are back with an all-new video. Oh, we're back. The second video of Le Year. Yo, can I tell you Wait something? Wait a minute. I'm so paranoid. Like, now I don't even know if the camera's recording. The thing about it is... Oh, it. Why would it be recording? Oh, it is. I don't know. Can you press record? The last camera just gave me anxiety. The thing about it is, I'm going to tell y'all, these two new shows of 2015 have not been easy. So just know that we love y'all. We are working hard. Like, no, be careful. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to warn y'all now that... Something might happen. There's a possibility that the camera might fall, the light might fall, the I banner might, might fall, I might fall... It's just a lot going on, but... Let's just get into it. I said that I would start this video off telling... What? It's a nice hat. Thank you. Thank you. My friend Jessica knitted me this hat, y'all, as a surprise. And um, it's camo color, and it's just so beautiful. It, you can tell, like, it took a little, you know, love, tender loving care. I love that. But, um... Nobody ever makes me things and send me things. But that's fine. I wanted to tell y'all that... Because there were a lot of questions about, you know, the... Because I'm pretty sure that most of you realized, I mean, recognized in the last video that it was like, we were kind of like stopping and starting and stopping and starting. If you didn't, we did. I just kind of edited them together. But the camera that we got, I got the camera for Christmas. We, we got the camera for Christmas. Bomb. It was the bomb. Dot com. Dot com. Like the bomb. But... It was a camera. Like, it was more like a HD ch -ch 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 camera. It recorded videos, but while we were recording the last video, it kept cutting off, kept cutting off, kept cutting off. So, we were reading the books, Googling. trying to figure out, Googling, watching YouTube tutorials. All types of everything. Nonsense. So, finally, today while I was at work, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to go through this tonight i'm not going to have to keep starting and stopping this video i'm going to call canon and i'm going to see what's the deal right. so i called the guy and asked the guy, i said i have a youtube show this is only recording up to 12 minutes and it cuts off it says it's supposed to be 29 minutes i was going to deal with that da, 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 da. because the whole point of us getting a new camera was to give you guys better quality i wanted to have an hd camera so what he told me was if I wanted to record in HD, it will only record the 12 minutes. And if I wanted to record in SD, which was the lowest quality of that camera, I could only do up to 20, 29 minutes. No matter what memory card I got, it was never going to go more than 29 minutes. minutes. And he yeah. said it. He said this is basically a camera that if you want to record some like family videos or something. But not to not like, like off your YouTube right. career. So we are in the process of exchanging and getting something better and newer, s newer, so that because it didn't even come with like a software for me to upload the video. It was just y'all was bad. It was short Monday. Y'all don't even know. Like I know y'all love the video, but it, it was, was stressful. stressful. But I want to do anything that I can to make this show better for you guys. Right. And this I have to I have to go back to the old camera, which we have a new setup, so things are different. We have a new light, so I have to. That's what might fall. Like I had to get something to hold it up because on the other camera you could twist it on top. My old camera you can't. So I mean it's not the best quality, but it's me and Tanea. We're right. back, and I might look a little light skinned like a little foreign. So it's fine. But I didn't want to just not record. Like y'all know I can't. I can't afford me, so like not that. to record. So, let's get into this video because I just wanted to let you guys know that. So, we're back at the old camera. Nothing's going to cut off. Something may fall. This show is hood. Get over it. So, the first thing I want to talk about was the positive feedback that we got from the new video. I asked you guys to t let me know um, any, um, cr you know, criticisms, suggestions, things you like to see happen in the show. A lot of people didn't tell me what they like to see in the show, but... Almost every comment you guys told me how much you loved the new setup. Mm -hmm. You loved us dressed up. Like, you yep. just loved everything. And I'm glad you guys really liked it. I really liked it, too. I really liked it, except for that dressing up part. She couldn't breathe. Can I tell y'all something? If y'all don't know by now, I'm fat. 
That means that I have fat things on my body. That means that I cannot wear a tight shirt around my fat neck because I cannot breathe. And it was just devastating for me. But I really appreciate it. Um, I'm really glad you all liked it. I really liked us being in, a, in HD. I mean, we all a little light on the we video. We looked really nice. We though. It was so clear. Like, you don't have to worry about anything getting blurry or right. none of that. So. And in the new camera, I'll be able to get all of the border in. But I didn't want y'all to have to see the poles that's holding it up and stuff. I just wanted to try to keep it somewhat classy. Right. But um, we'll be back to HD very soon, so don't worry. But what I wanted to say was there were a lot of people who are like me and were just like, no, I don't want you guys to change. Um, I don't want you guys to dress up like that all the time. It was yeah. really nice, though. I want you guys to say your normal selves. As you can see, we're normal. That was just for the first show. We will not. I hate dressing up. I like that bow though. My friend Jessica made yeah, that Yeah, I'm going to wear that bow out. But. Uncle Al, did you hear that? Did you he hear her? The phone call. We in a different room and she's still <laughs> dropping in videos. But, um, yeah, so I don't want you guys to worry. I will say one person did say, um, the thing that they were going to miss the most was our intro. I do like our new intro, but you're right. I really do like our whole oh, little intro. dancing, dancing screaming, screaming. So I've decided that, you know, I'll make another change soon. Because out of all of the changes that we have made, that is something that I do miss. So I'll probably be talking to my producer about um, in about maybe five to six months. Switching up the intro back to something, you know, a little more well, exciting or whatever. Because we live. Yeah, and then I feel like the first one really, really shows our personality. Right, exactly. So. What? I'm not going to say it on this show. That, uh -huh. No, that thing that you never take care of. Girl, I know. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so <laughs> we are on the countdown to TGIT. We have three more Thursdays. Really, to me, if I think about it, we only have two. But we well, have today is a Thursday. Yeah. So to me, we only had two, see. but Tanea told me we had three. Let me see. But um, I'm excited. Um, I am going through. I am really, really, really. We actually do have three. Because it's one, two, three. Because that, that doesn't matter, though, because that's the day it comes on. But this is one, and that's two. That's it, two. No. Don't we're not that. counting today, and we're not two. No, no, nobody counts like that, Tiffany. Anyway. It's exactly 20, not 21 days, <sighs> which is three weeks. I, I'm claiming two. I refuse to say three. It's three weeks. But I'm excited because um, I'm having real bad scandal withdrawals. Uh, I almost, you know, I don't really, I haven't watched How to Get Away with Murder. That might be something I should do. I usually go back and watch shows that I'm like sad about going up. God, hey, y'all know I'm watching Scandal. I sat in here and made my great aunt and Nene, Nene watch like 15 clips of Scandal the other night randomly. They didn't even know it was coming. Not me. I was upset watching TV because I don't have time for that. It just hit me. But um, I really miss Scandal. I I really miss Scandal. I needed to come back, y'all. Okay, enough of that. I just wanted to cry a little bit, but <sighs> it's cold as shit. If you are living up north, hey, hell, I even heard that Florida is. What are you doing? Sorry. I even heard that Florida is cold. Yes, yes. Hold on, because somebody I know. Just said like they almost slipped on a piece of ice and they live in Florida. So I saw it on Twitter. Y'all drinking so. Kool-Aid because mm. I am so hungry that I felt like maybe the sugar would help some until we eat because she already started cooking dinner so the house smells like dinner but I'm starving. I, I had a, we're having salad for dinner. I had a salad for lunch so it's like, salad it's again. like water in my stomach Turn right now. Turn a I'm dying. So if you see me drinking this, it's because my mouth is cotton and dry, like I popped a Molly or something. I really don't know. You sweating? No. But um, okay. Again, let's get into the show. Okay. All right. So the um, first couple things I want to talk about are sad and um mm -hmm. stressful. The first thing I want to talk about is the NAACP bombing that happened. And I said, you know what? You didn't know about it. What? See? You see how? But I bet you knew about Paris. Oh yeah. That's what that, that that's what the fight is right now. That all over social media, all over the news, everybody's talking about the shooting in Paris, but nobody's talking about the bombing that happened at the NAACP. But did, did Iggy Azalea talk about it? 
I don't know. He wants to be so black. I just figured she are you? talked about are you? Them, the NAACP. Okay. Um, okay, so there was a bombing at the uh, headquarters in Colorado Springs. And there were zero deaths. So maybe oh, that's, that's good. Yeah, there were zero deaths. It says, um, it's not sure if it was a target or not, but... There was a improvised explosive device and containers of gasoline outside of the building, but the gas didn't, um, it didn't ignite. That's why it wasn't as bad as it could have been, but that is scary. That is very, very scary. That is scary. scary. Like, that, could, that was nothing but God. Like, if that gas would have went off, not only would that building have got blown up, some more but around some it would have got blown up. Like, right. who, who tried to do this? They said they don't know. Oh, of course they don't. But then going into the Paris one, it says that um, several gunmen shot up the Paris magazine office. At least 12 people died. Oh, I did see that. Famous cartoonists and uh, writers died in it too. They're very famous in Paris. Mm -hmm. um, That's sad. That is sad. That's you know, and then I read the article about one of the guys. I think he was the oldest one that died. But he has two daughters there like in their 20s. And it showed a picture of... He's been doing this for... Since they were little, he has a picture of them in his lap and he's showing them how to draw. Mm -hmm. It's just sad. They, okay, but did they say why? Like, what was the reason behind this? They didn't say. They just said... They did say that when the two the two gunmen came in there, they were screaming something. But it was, like, in a different language. I know okay. part of the word was, like, Akbar. Like, something like that. Abdullah Akbar. Something oh, like that. Oh, my goodness. That was... Was it, like, a terrorist attack? That's what they said. That, well, that's what they're calling it. They're calling Jesus. it a terrorist attack. But they're saying that there might be a third suspect. And they've been just, you know, taking in people to find out exactly what happened. But it's a lot going on around the world. And then right here in Baltimore yesterday. Or was it the day before? Either way, it's a police station across the street from where I work at. And a man walked in with a loaded gun. Now, they didn't know he had a gun. He just walked into the police station, but he reeked of weed. Like, you ever be around somebody? Yeah, I mean, they somebody walk in, they weed. just smell, like, did you just smoke? Yeah. Right. So, you know, about him smelling just like weed, the police officers patted him down. He had a loaded gun, cocaine, and marijuana Was in his he pocket. trying to go to jail? He said that he is a part of a gang. I'm not going to say the gang because I live in this city and I don't want them to come and get me. But he, um, he's part of a gang and they made him come in. They told him to come in. They told him to go to jail with all that stuff on him? What in the world? That just goes to show you. Now that was Colorado, Baltimore, and Paris. The, the world as a whole is just, we're only on the 8th. Are we on the eighth day? Yes. The eighth day of the year. We need God. We need it. We need it. And and, and you know what somebody said it um yesterday? People are too comfortable with the idea of tomorrow. That if that ain't that's real. That is real. Especially in the times that we're living in now. So all I got to say is y'all keep the world in place. Mm, that's terrible. God I'm please so bless your people. That. It's very scary. Okay, so now that we're done with the sad and tragic news. You know, it's like up. we was reading news. That messed like, up my soul. Right. I think mean, oh, that's that's up. Up. Where, where I work at, like me and my mom, we kind of work in like the same department, but we don't. There are doctors. She works in like the mail, the post office of where we work. And we keep the doc doors open a lot because FedEx is coming, UPS is coming. And the other day, this guy just walked in. He was coming to get packages, but he just walked in. And my mother was just like looking at him like... And we got outside. I was like, what is wrong with you? And she was like, he could have been coming in to shoot us Right. Up. I feel like y'all need to talk to somebody. And you work well. She's behind glass. Yeah, I'm behind glass. But yeah, I've been to your job. And I've literally you can just walk walked right in. in. I've walked in and nobody stopped me. Like, I thought the light was about to fall. Everybody doesn't know who I am. Right. But nobody was like, who are you? Right. What are you doing exactly. here? Exactly. Nobody stops crazy people from walking in. Not saying that I'm crazy, but... Mm. I kind of feel safe at my job. I got a guard outside yeah. with a gun. I'm in behind glass. I done seen set it off. I got time. a button right here in my palm that I'm itching to press. All right, don't tell me your secrets. Oh. You're telling me your secrets. I'm just saying. Okay, so let's get more. into, which I pulled up the, the actual article on it. So yesterday, all over the internet... It was this picture of this little girl and her hair was very nappy. Aww. 
and it was just like the thing to talk about that's when you know it's kind of like a slow news day which right. is crazy because it wasn't a slow Look. news day then double acp got bombed and um, purse had a shooting it was four degrees outside like she okay so basically the teacher did the child's hair because they came back from the holiday vacation and she said that her hair was very matted let me go ahead and read this to you so this is what it says under the picture so one of my students came to school today with her hair full of knots, lint, and ridiculously tangled. It looked like it hadn't been touched the entire holiday break, so my classroom became a salon. The photo on the left is before and the right is after. It just broke my heart so badly that I refused to let her leave school today the same way she came. When I finished, she looked at herself and said, "Aw, oh, so pretty. The beauty is that she no she's normally nonverbal, so now I'm crying, laugh out loud. My day has been made. So, the teacher has been getting criticized I say, did she get for started? days. Now, that's what I want to talk about, our different opinions. Now, this is what I had to say about it, because my little sister was going to this daycare before, and my sister has, like, Brillo pad hair. Mm. Like, Brillo pad after you clean the pan, how this the Brillo pad looks. Like, head All right, don't go in on my sister before. hair. I mean... So, um, no. one day when me and my mother went to pick up from daycare, when she was like two, the daycare lady had did her hair. And my mother was ecstatic. Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, my mom would be dropping it off on Fridays like, why you do a hair this weekend, girl? Because I don't want to deal with it. That's because you got an older, mature mother. Now, this is what I have to say about this. Here in this age, because that was like, it wasn't even 2000 yet. It was, how old is Brittany? It was like 95, 94. What was she born? 95, 95. It was like 95, she was like two. And, um. That's almost 20 years ago. Right. <laughs> In 2015, these parents are crazy. crazy. They get insulted easily and they will fight you. So, Damn, my thing is, did. if it was me, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't, see, because she put like, 10 ponytails in her head. Maybe, maybe I would have brushed it into a bush Can ball. I tell you but go ahead, because I just got so many questions. Maybe I would have brushed it into a bush ball, but that's it. I'm going to tell you when she went wrong. She shouldn't have posted it on social media. Right. You shouldn't be. I mean, even though we don't know who the little girl is because her back is. And to we the don't know who the teacher is. Right. You you just shouldn't have done well of course people are gonna know who it was because it was on her Instagram oh, and her Facebook. Okay. So people are gonna know, but you shouldn't have that should be illegal. Don't take no you, pictures she of be my fighting. child. Don't take no pictures of my child and put it on the internet. You can't do that. Okay, go. As a teacher, like, okay, this is what I'm saying. Okay, grand gesture. She came to school with her hair in the bush. First of all, where'd you get all the supplies from? I probably a comb and a brush in my bag. Well, all them things to put that little girl head in ten ponytails. She could have played with it. No, it was like colorful things. Oh my god! Shut up. Second of all, if her hair looks like it hadn't been combed for knots, that means that the little girl had to be crying. Something had to be going on. Like it wasn't this peaceful as you're trying to make it seem. Third. Stop trying to be an effing hero. You're already a teacher. Nobody needed, if you felt like that was the thing to do, to, you know, brush your hair because it was hurting your heart, you should have did that and let it be. Nobody told you to post this little girl on you. I mean, like, she's not your, your charity case. And that's how you made it. Like, you're a teacher. You're, you are the hero. You don't need an extra story. Like, oh, yeah, clap, clap for the good teacher. No, girl. Teach your kids. So you mean to tell me because your salon, your, I mean your classroom turned to the salon, you didn't teach the rest of the kids their ABCs that day? Well, maybe the rest of the kids were at lunch or at nap time or something, Tanea. You th I don't know. I, I would hope that she didn't do it right in front of all the kids. That's what, where, where were the other kids at? Maybe she took it in the bathroom. She didn't say that, though, because if, uh, granted, I had, she would have put it in her long-ass story. I had to take her to the bathroom and use the lotion that was on the wall to comb them knots out. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, I feel like she did a good thing. Okay, you did her hair, but did you really have to tell the world? Because nobody cares. Everybody's mad at you now. They're attacking her very... Uh and it needs to be illegal. Teachers shouldn't be able to put their students on their 
and personal stuff. Like, yeah. don't you have to keep that separate? I will never forget my um, old best friend. Her mother had a daycare. And one time, she did the little girl's hair. And her hair wasn't even not done. It was like, you could tell, like, you ever see a kid and it looked like they had their ponytails in for a couple of days. She just brushed it up. Like, she just freshened it up. Can I tell y'all that we were probably about 14 when this happened. I don't think that her mother was home. Like, sometimes when it was time for the kids to be picked up, she would just leave them in the house with her. She came in the house like, don't you ever touch my child's head again. And took her child and left for the day. But she said it's so nasty. And it hurt my friend feeling so bad. But ever since that incident, I mean, we were children. But ever since, no, we wasn't 14. We had to have been like 13. Ever since that incident, I don't, first of all, I barely touch my head. So I damn sure ain't touching your child head. Especially if I don't know your damn kid. I mean. But I don't have that problem because Kari don't walk out this door looking like nothing. And she already knows. My don't godmother said you can't touch she my head. She don't even want us to touch her head half the damn time. So, I mean, all the best of luck to the teacher. I feel bad that they're ripping her to shreds. But she deserves it. Lesson learned, man. She deserves it. So I wouldn't say she deserves though. it. But let's move on because today is getting angry. I'm not getting angry. I'm just saying what I got to say. Like, you don't have to be the hero all the time. You're already a teacher. That's hero enough. All right. So, let's get straight into this show because I know everybody's waiting. The premiere of Empire came on last night, and what button? What button? I don't know. I was looking for it the other day. Girl, <laughs> I wish I had it for this. I bought this like noise keypad where it'll clap, it'll boo, all this other stuff. But anyway, Empire came on. If you don't know what Empire is, it's the new show with Taraji P Henson, uh, Terrence Howard, Gabby. Gab I call it Precious. I don't have time to say her whole name, Precious. Um, Maybe. and some other people, but, um, they are the main celebrities, and, um, I will say that I'm not, the way people have been counting out, you, first of all, you know black people, a new black show coming out, they counting down. Right. <sighs> I can't wait for Empire to start. I've been surrounded by it for weeks. Empire, Empire, I can't wait for Empire to come on. I knew that I was going to watch it because we have a show, so I like to review shows, especially when they're new. But I wasn't counting it down. The only thing I'm counting down is Shonda Rhimes shows. No shade. But anyway, so the day finally came, and then I found out the People's Choice Awards was coming on at the same time, so I was already over it. But whatever, I went ahead and watched it because y'all know how they try to save the good categories on the awards to the end, so... And he had country singers and all that. But anyway, so it came on and as soon as it came on, people were singing. So I know it wasn't just me because when I got on my Twitter, the first thing I said, well, well is this a musical? And everybody's tweet was like, wait a minute, is this a musical? Okay, so then it went from a musical to, is this Noah's Ark? If you don't know what Noah's Ark is, Google it. Google it. So then I was like, okay... But, the, oh, then I was like, well, wait a minute. Is Terrence Howard supposed to be Barry Gordy? Like, hold, no, this is what my, what year is this? Yeah, that was the other thing. Like, what year? What year is this based Is this on? the 90s, the 80s? Like, because the son, the youngest son, like, I was really confused. Sorry to cut you off. Because the youngest son was rapping about bitches, drugs, and hoes. So right. I'm like, okay, it's probably 2015, 2014. But Lucius had a perm. I just... <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, but and a matching, a mat. Well, I don't even know the material. A matching outfit with the little half a turtleneck and a scarf. I was done. Okay, but fifteen minutes in, I finally was starting to catch on to what was going on. Empire was actually really good to me. You know what I mean? Like it, right? It was. If I'm telling y'all, I liked it because I'm picky with shows. Yes, I do watch a lot of TV. I'm addicted to TV. But you only got one, maybe two tries to catch me on a new show. Like if it's not good, I told y'all. Everybody is on black. It's just balls. I haven't watched it since the first episode. It wasn't funny Can to I me. Say something about. Empire. Let me finish. Okay, but it was it. to me it was really good. My favorite was um Cookie, aka Taraji, aka Yvette, because I saw Yvette 
from baby boy slip out numerous times, especially when they threw the little boy in the trash can. Or how about when some, I don't know what the man, man said to him. She said, how about you such and such and such, bitch? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the language is all He's the same. Um, I like Terrence Howard. He's my least favorite, though, to be honest. And Precious is hilarious. I don't care what Precious plays, and it could be serious, not serious, slavery. It's just, she's just funny to me. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I really liked it, and I can't wait to see it next week. Like, I'm hoping that it keeps my attention. That's the thing, you know, is either you're not going to get me the first episode, or you're going to get me the first episode, and then when the second one comes, I'm going to be like, what the hell is going on? But the way they've set it up, it's a lot that I want to know. Like, what the hell? Where was, why was Cookie gone? Why does it seem like all three of your sons could possibly be gay? Because, yeah, one of the sons was gay. That other one, I don't care, I don't care. He's trade. That youngest one? That rapper. Oh, and so is that oldest one that's with the white girl. Okay, so go ahead. What's your opinion? Um, Empire is a key... F and K. It is. The only thing, reason, well, no, it's two reasons why I'm going to continue to watch this show. Tiffany's going to make me watch it every week. But I don't think it's supposed to be a comedy. And that's what it is. It's almost like watching a old version, an old episode of Comic Vig. It's just funnier and funnier and fun. The little boy coming out into Raji's Hills Dead. blew my dead off like oh and then Taraji when she called her son's Spanish boyfriend a Mexican and said that he needed to get him to clean up cause that's what they were good at I sh I if I had a wig it would have came off <laughs> like I just, and then she cussed out the son the youngest son beat his ass with a broom Empire is a key key. Yo, she is ki Cookie is power. <laughs> Cookie alone is all the characters of power. <sighs> so this was my question because I saw it talked about a lot last night, and I was immediately it was the first thing I thought of. How do you feel about in these new shows? It seems like to please everybody, and I guess to get a bigger audience. Almost every new show, if you pay attention, excuse me, has an interracial couple or more than an uh, interracial, like several. The whole thing is just mixed all up. And it's always a gay couple. And you want to, I mean, I, I guess it's okay that they're trying to, you know, get a broader, you know, a bigger audience, a broader audience. But the thing about it, that is, that's not real life. I'm not gonna say it's not real life. I don't think it's necessary the, in everything. It's not now. necessary in everything. And the thing is, like, it's not everybody's life. Everybody doesn't have a uh, interracial couple in their family, yeah. or everybody doesn't have I do. a out there, you know, gay couple in their family. Tiffany does. I don't think I did in my family. Mm -mm. So like, they still in the closet in her family. Are they? <laughs> we want to, who's in the closet? <laughs> but um, yeah. So let me know how y'all feel about that. I mean, that and that was no shade. I just wanted when it, it hit me, I was no. like, every new show. Like, is it's, it is it because it's? Like, I don't know what it is, but it's like every show. Like they even have a show based off of like a gay interracial family. I think right. Like that comes on another channel. But I'm, it is on every channel. Like are they trying to. I feel like when they um doing it like that, they try to make it more acceptable or like try to make it so it's not like a a shocker anymore. Right. So So then I want to talk about how 50 Cent came out and was shading Empire. And that is the third reason I watch it because anything 50 Cent don't like I love. So basically 50 Cent came on and he said, I like Terrence Howard and I like Taraji P. Hinton. I don't like that they would copy the marketing from his show Power. And when I first found out about um, Empire, I was like, oh God, another Power. Because I didn't know what it was going to be. I, like, I'm telling y'all, I didn't look up anything on this show, nothing. So Taraji comes back and somebody asks her, did you see what 50 Cent said? And she said, I don't pay attention to dollars. I don't pay attention to cents. I pay attention to dollars. Um, here's the thing, 50 Cent, because I'm pretty sure you knew what the show was about. 
you need to stop it. And Empire is nothing Pe like power. power. Nothing. nothing. Like n nothing. nothing. It's almost like um hmm, it's like the Michael Jackson story meets the wire. What? Like cause you know cause Coco went to jail for drugs and selling drugs. That's the wire. Yeah. And then you got, you know, Michael Jackson with Times Howard and the Sons. Um no, you didn't get that? I really hate that this has to happen right now, but, um, yeah. Where are you going? Eat bad. Um, like good bread. Uncle Al, I know you didn't like that. Again. Sorry. But, um, something doesn't want us to record. The camera was about to die, but when I started, we had a full battery. But anyway, on to the um, we just got done with Empire, so on to uh, the People's Choice Awards. Now y'all know, I voted until my fingers were numb for Kerry Washington and Scandal, and neither one of them won. But here's the thing, I'm not even mad, and I'm gonna tell y'all why in a minute. So let's go over my favorite categories of um that went on last night. For daytime television, Ellen won. Keep in mind at the People's Choice Awards. You only win from the fans. The fans vote for you. So it's like... You can't be mad, really. It, it's like the biggest honor, though. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Because the fans. Like, the fans I voted. So, daytime television, Ellen won. Oh, A dramedy. Best new dramedy. Orange is the New Black one. Which I'm excited about because they deserve it. Most missed character, Christina Yang won. Now, that's real. Because if I don't miss nobody... On TV, huh. I miss I miss Yang. Yang. Um, was she there to accept it? I don't know. I think this was one of the... Because you know all of it was on, yeah. put on TV. Um, Best New Drama Series, Viola Davis. Which was excellent yeah. for Shonda Land. And because she deserves it. How to Get Away with Murder is amazing. Yeah, it is. Um, Best TV Drama, Grey's Anatomy won. I voted for Yang. Um, best drama actor, um, Patrick Dempsey, aka McDreamy from Grey's Anatomy. And best um, actress in the drama series, TV drama series, Ellen Pompeo, which is Meredith Grey from Grey's Anatomy. I love Ellen Pompeo. So it was like, no, if anybody was going to beat Kerry Washington, it should have been Ellen Pompeo. But here's the thing, because I don't want you guys to get too excited. The thing is, Grey's Anatomy fans are more hardcore, if you ask me, than Scandal fans. They're more dedicated. And I feel like it's more of them. Definitely. It's definitely more Grey's Anatomy fans. And I, I, I literally watched some people online say that they were literally voting nonstop. Like, that's all they did with their day yeah. was vote. So, um, that's not what I did. And I don't think that the Scandal fans did that. But either way, Shonda Land won. Shonda so, won. There you have it, people's choice was. Y'all know usually I'll be ready to zap out and stuff. Nope. <laughs> I was calm. So let's get ready for Tanea time, which still has to do with the People's Choice Awards. For the People's Choice Awards, for Best Hip Hop Artist, out of Drake, Nicki Minaj, T.I. and Jay-Z, Iggy Azalea. You boy. can't tell me. You can't tell me. You cannot tell me that the people voted more for Iggy Azalea than they did Drake, Jay-Z, T.I., and who else? Nicki Minaj. And Nicki Minaj? Y'all should have threw Macklemore's ass in there. Like, it's no way possible. Is. She is trash. Yo. Pure garbage. Like... It's disgusting. You didn't know how cool this last night? Yes, it was this. It was disgraceful. Like it was a waste of time. I was so mad that I had to sit there and watch it. You know what I was watching? I was watching TV the other day, and I had my back turned to it. I think I was getting ready for work or something. And you know what came on? Education Connection. What's that? And then so you know, like when they be calling, like call so you can go to school. Education Connection. Yeah. It was a girl on there rapping, mm -hmm. and I thought it was Iggy Azalea because it was that bad. Oh my God. <sighs> People's Choice.
so you really like you felt good with that i would have changed the answer even if the fans did vote it i would have changed it because that's ridiculous people deserve their things to know she just, don't deserve that i just can't believe what was the name of the category um that's um hip-hop artist she I, best new no, because somebody could have beat her in Best New Hip Hop Artist either. But hip hop, she is garbage. Like, why? She's not a rapper. She's trash. Um, all the best of luck to Iggy Azalea. I mean, after watching that performance last night, you know you always hear people, you know, because I don't listen to Iggy Azalea music other than Fancy that comes on the radio, but, you know, people always just go along with it. And at first I was just like, who the hell is Iggy Azalea? Like, don't nobody got time for that. Oh no, I watched her perform last and night. And I still, the only thing Iggy Azalea has is a butt. If it were Apollo back in the day, they would have booed her off, and I'm not joking. The man would have came out with a hook and dragged her ass off of the stage. Like, that's how bad it was. Just tell him you don't have time. I don't have time for her in my music life. Like, uh, uh, forget these award shows forget her winning these awards that she does not deserve i don't have time for her to be making music let me tell y'all something the grammys come on february the 8th and she's nominated i'm telling y'all i'm taking off the day after the grammys because it's a possibility when's the grammys come on the um eighth but you just gonna be taking off from when we go away i don't care but let's move on um so the other day Finally, people have been waiting. Felicia Rashad put out a statement about the Bill Cosby um and, and situation because it's it's not the past. It's, it's not the present. incident, it's right? Like, what's going on? And she basically came out and she said, "Forget those women." Like in her mind, I mean, in the article, the article was the the person had interviewed her, and the article was basically saying like, you know, she said, "Forget those women." They're trying to ruin his legacy, blah, 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 blah. So there was another interview yesterday where basically she was coming to, you know, clear the air. And she said, I'm a woman myself. I would never say anything like that. She said, I really, basically she don't have anything to say about it. But she did tell what she thought about Bill Cosby and what he's been the entire time that she's known him. And she's just basically like, you know, he's a good man. That's from what I know. You know what I mean? Like, she's not going to come on and put her two cents in it and, you know, slander him or slander anybody else. Me, personally, I believe that the first statement that she made, she it was real. I do forget this. For I, be I believe the forget this one was forget those women. But, because I read the whole thing. Uh-huh. And all, everything was saying, she said, forget these women. She said, forget these women. But I feel like they kind of quoted it from, like, you know when somebody's just, like, talking and they took one statement yeah, out of her with it. And I feel, like that, I feel like she was talking it. Because when I read the whole thing, she was like, forget these women. Let's talk about Bill Cosby and the legacy right. that he has that is being targeted. Right. She wasn't saying forget their stories and forget, you know... Like, they, they don't make sense or, you know, they don't, I see it, they don't mean anything. She was just saying, it's still, a, I mean, even though, you know, people are out here and they're coming up with their stories and it's sad, it's still somebody who worked hard for years to build something and it's tarnished. Well, the vic there, there were three new victims that have come out and they are very upset with Felicia Rassar and what she said and... They left their little, you know, little sayings that they had to say. And, um, yeah, we're back to square one, Bill, because more people are coming out. Now it's up to 20 plus women. Now it's getting ridiculous. So before we go on, Luke, Luke James came out last night on his Twitter and said something. These are his tweets. He said, I agree. I think they are trying to break a legacy that helped to build a culture, our culture. I don't know the facts. It's all just an observation. All his programs are no longer on TV. What does one thing have to do with the other? Laugh out loud. You folks that are telling me to shut up, you don't know shit either. You just follow the trend. Hate. Exactly. So what I wanted to say was, because Tanae made a good point last night. Not to say, because I've already told y'all how I feel about this. But she made a good point. If you notice, whenever someone comes out and leaves a statement and they're basically against Bill Cosby... There's no slander towards them. It's given hate. But anybody that comes.
comes out against Bill Cosby, that's regular person, normal person like us or a celebrity, they attack them viciously on social networks, which, like she said, why is it, I mean, just because whoever doesn't have his back doesn't mean that somebody can't have why his back. Why didn't he have I mean, any support? They even ripped his wife to shreds for having his back. That why, is what? Why can't he have any support? Because we don't have proof that he actually did do this. We're only going off of what these women, women are saying. And the, the thing is, we're going off these women that we really don't know. Granted, we don't know Bill Cosby. Like, like we don't know him personally. Right. But we know him. Right. That is, as um, Luke James said, he built something. It's like, a lot of people didn't grow up with, like, families and they, they didn't know that, like, you know, black people had families, but here you go, it's a black person on TV, they have a family, they have multiple kids, they're doing well, one's a doctor, one's a lawyer, like, it's thebomb.com, right. and... It's like now, like, some people came out with these stories that we, we really don't know them, but it's like, as soon as you hear something negative, let's go run with it. And I, I mean, I don't mean to pull a black card, but I definitely feel like, like when you hear something negative about a black man or a black person, it's like, oh, yes, let's go run with this because, um, um, what's it? Seventh Heaven still comes on oh, ABC. Oh, okay, I forgot. And he, and he said he did. Yup, he came out and said he did it. That's he said that he did it. Mm -hmm. Nobody did this. I mean, they talked about it for a couple of days, mm -hmm. but it was over. Like this was this one on the 2014. Y'all still talking about it now in 2015. That man from Seventh Heaven. Y'all talking about him for a week or two, and it was over. Bill, and he was a pastor on Seventh Heaven. Like it's ridiculous. But he's a white man. He said he did it, and so oh, let's keep your show on Netflix. Let's move on because... I don't like it. And I have a lot to say about it. Um, yeah. Little uh, Martin Luther King next to me just went <laughs> crazy over here. <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's just... It's not fair. And if you sit back and you think about it and you look at what's going on, like granted, if Bill Cosby did rape those women, that is a sad thing. But that don't have anything to do with the legacy that he built or his work but we but we, and the thing is we still don't know right. we just know that they said we don't know if he really did it because he's actually innocent until he's proven guilty but here we have the man from seventh heaven that is white that had said he did it and everything is fine we're moving on i know i'm just saying it's not your fair. cheeks are getting red that's because i'm hungry <laughs> <laughs> okay let's wrap this show up so um some news that really doesn't matter uh, Toya, who is the baby mother of Lil Wayne, and her husband, who is the ex-boyfriend of K. Michelle, who supposedly I turned to her years ago, have all these uh, all these rumors circling around that they are splitting, they're breaking up. So, um, I didn't hear much about it, and that's not to say I don't care about Toya, but I don't care. Like, I actually, I, for K. Michelle, I would be a little happy, because... She would be cracking up in a corner like Toy I won't say that Toya doesn't come on Instagram and try to make it seem like they had this picture perfect she does. marriage, but whatever. So, you know, it's rumors about them splitting. As I was reading more until the day, they're saying that they were supposed to be starting a reality show mm -hmm. called The Right Way because his last name is Right. Is her last name right too? No. No, now it's right. And um, they not basically wouldn't pit, they wouldn't do the show. The people wouldn't take the show because they said it's not enough drama in their life. So now they're saying that they did this purposely for that. For the show? Right. Well, we'll see if the show still comes out. Well, um, somebody actually added Memphis today and said that. And they was he was like, well, no. Basically, no. That, this is real life. And Toya put up a little video yesterday of uh, mine. Can, um, having complications of well, breakups and yeah. separation and can I just say something for 2015 I think these celebrities need to look at Tay Diggs and Indina Menzel they divorced in silence nobody knew and you need to do the damn same thing like we don't care break up in silence not over continue to put up garb shoes and pictures of your puppy I don't want to see nothing about you and Memphis Memphis, whatever, breaking up. Like, it's ridiculous. I don't want to see.
see him putting up anything. He's already ridiculous. That's why I don't follow him on nothing. I don't either. He is such a clown. Yeah. So, break up in silence. Um, moving on. Kylie Jenner is covering the, uh... The co he, she's on the cover of Cosmopolitan. Okay. And in the article, she is basically trying to clear up some of the rumors because there's a picture of her with these. And they look like new boots. Oh, they do, and they look lovely. They look lovely, but actually, she said that it's a sports bra. So she, you know, because they went on her about that, and Chris Jenna, you know, letting her get a boob job, and she said, "I don't have a boob job. It's just a really good push-up bra." She also wanted to clear up the rumors about her lips, which she says that she has never gotten any lip injections and she said that she wishes that the world would just let it go mm -hmm. she said that she grew up and her lips grew too i guess now what y'all gonna say if i leave this show today like this and come make them all like this well the thing about it is your lips shouldn't still be growing because you are grown man a child she's 17 did your lips grow from 17 to now yes the thing <laughs> The thing about it is, why not the thing I'm saying is, why not believe her? Why believe the negative thing? So what? She's lying. no. No. Now I, I would have let it go. No, she you damn right she's lying. Yeah, who cares? I, I, that's no, 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 no. But we're vloggers. Who cares about any of this shit? Don't it's come. Ridiculous. You're not going to come in a magazine and lie to me. You can lie to all those little seventeen-year-old white girls. Don't lie to me. Don't try to cover Chris Jenner's ass. She let you get plastic surgery before you were eighteen. Moving on. I mean, but if she did, it won't be the first time. She doesn't have to lie though, Tanea. If that's what she wants to do, no. Do you don't, you don't do that to your fans. I wouldn't like it if Beyonce came and lied to me. Brandy lied to us for years, and we still love her. Who the hell is Brandy? No, exactly. I don't know. Did you say who is Brandy? Last but not least, oh, I want to give another shout out to Blue Ivy. Yesterday was her third Happy birthday, birthday please. and I saw so many pictures from her party. She had a frozen party, which is so cute because everybody. I'm not I'm not about to compare babies, but everybody likes to, I don't know, put in their mind like a Northwest type of baby that wears lace and goes to um, and wear makes New and York stuff. fashion show and Paris fashion shows. No. Blue Ivy is at home watching Frozen with Beyonce watching singing Let It Go. She's not at home. She's in Thailand. Whatever. The baby tiger. Uh, <laughs> I love Blue Ivy. Blue Ivy is the Beehive's baby. And Solange put up the cutest picture of them and she actually you know was describing blue ivy a lot which i tell people all the time and they be like you don't know beyonce you don't know her i told y'all that blue was off the chain i know she's off the chain off the chain yo that's my twin that's all i need to hear i was like i knew she was just like salon so let's get into the quote which is actually a quote that i said last year sometime in the middle don't laugh <laughs> She's laughing at my new book that my mother gave me. She's oh, crazy. that's so funny. The front of the book says, if you read this book without asking, you will go blind. But wait, the first page says, <laughs> this is your last warning. Stop it. <laughs> I don't know what's her issue. She's so funny. Okay, so the quote is, coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is a progress. Working together is a success. Right. We trying to keep together. That's where we at because I don't like her. Did toe. I don't know what possessed me. I don't even remember making the decision of taking this friendship in the 2015. Because I saw a lot of y'all like, glad to see y'all continue the friendship. No, we're cold. Oh, I wish you would. Tiffany is a liar. Uh, you know what? Let's end the show before we get to You said that you wanted you to be like, my yo, friend. But, but. You said you but, wanted to take this friendship but, in 2015. But. You did. I told you the ball. argument and I said that's why I'm not taking this friendship in the 2015 now she ain't gonna tell me uh-uh because the other day when we were having a good day I was like you know what today we are really good friends we should just go ahead and keep being friends she ain't gonna tell me uh-uh you already said we was it's too late the ball ain't dropped yet look the ball you hadn't need dropped to stop being so flip floppy you need to grow up stop and being my friend I'm immature stop being no, my friend no I'm the mature one you need to you're the you mature one you need to be you're the, the mature one, one. Like me. Shit. I'm trying to put you on to some real. I do not 
want to be nothing like Tanea. Only thing I would take from her is her cooking skills and maybe I'm singing. the best friend that she's ever had. And she can act like she don't No comment. <laughs> no. No comment. I will drop kick you right here. Let's end the show. Thank the you show. for watching. Make sure y'all share, share this friend. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Tell your mama, your cousin, your sister, your brother, that Tanea need a new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Say sorry. We on camera. Take it back. Sorry. We on camera. And I do not want this camera to fall off of this stick. You said sorry though, so she's still my friend. See? <sighs> Make sure you tell a friend this. to tell a friend. Share this, like this. Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, you your brother. Did this your brother, <laughs> your brother, ex girlfriend. <laughs> They, your brother, ex girlfriend. You did this part already. Your brother, ex girlfriend. <laughs> Mother, daughter, grandmother. And as always, if you didn't know, now you know that there's no show like the show. See, I told y'all that the hood ratness would be back. Look, now I gotta go cut the camera off. She just got choked out, so. Tanae, shut up. I'm just saying. No, because I didn't want this camera to fall. What a.